CRI stands for Color Rendering Index and is a measure of how well a light source reproduces color to the human eye. CCT stands for Correlated Color Temperature and is measured in Kelvin to refer to the warmness or coolness of the white light a bulb produces. Let's start with this idea of color temperature because it's pretty easy to understand. If you've already been looking at LED bulbs, then you've definitely already come across bulbs that have 2700K or 3000K or 4000K or 5000K written on them. And maybe also the term warm white, neutral white or cool white and so on. K stands for Kelvin, which is the metric scale for temperature. 0K is equal to minus 459 degrees Fahrenheit while the temperature of a candle flame is about 2000 K or 3000 degrees Fahrenheit. The actual temperature of the thin metal filament of an incandescent bulb reaches 3000 K or about 5000 degrees Fahrenheit. These old school types of light sources are also called black body radiators because they get so very hot that they radiate light. The temperature consistently corresponds to the warmness or coolness of the light. The higher the temperature, the cooler the light looks. Although CFLs and LED bulbs don't get nearly as hot as the temperatures above, the method of describing the warmness or coolness of light for them was retained. So an LED bulb that is listed as 3000K doesn't actually heat up to 5000 degrees Fahrenheit, but it will still give off a warm light just like an incandescent. And that's why colour temperature is important. You get to judge what type of white light you want. Do you want an extra warm 2700K LED bulb? Or the popular 3000K warm? Or maybe a neutral 4000K? or maybe even for those that like the crisp, cool 5000K. What do I think? I think for inside the home, 3000K is the best light. Maybe a soothing extra warm 2700K in the bedroom, maybe a 4000K for the kitchen or garage. I really think that for outdoors, 4000K is a good bet to light up your paths or garden. Maybe 5000K if you like that cool look. It's a personal choice, and I think of all the characteristics of LED bulbs, like lumens, beam angles, CRI, it's easily the most noticeable to the eye. Now, let's talk about CRI, or light quality. White light is made up of all the coloured light in the spectrum, like a rainbow, where the white light from the sun is split into all its colours. Without light, we cannot see anything. Obvious, right? But what if a light source only has some of those colours of the spectrum? Well, you'll still notice light, but some colours will be very hard to make out. That's why daylight is ideal. It has plenty of light from all of the spectrum. White light from the sun and other black body radiators like an incandescent bulb have a perfect CRI score of 100. So we know incandescents score a perfect 100 for CRI, but what about CFL and LEDs? CFLs average around 70, while LEDs these days average around 80. Some high-end retailers with colourful fabric and wares are switching to LED bulbs and are perfectly satisfied with CRIs in their 80s. You'd be hard pressed to tell the difference in light quality between CRI of 80 and 100. So if you're comparing one LED bulb of 83 CRI to another of 76 CRI, the difference is negligible. But CCT, or colour temperature, is easy to spot. The right K makes a big difference.